Greetings folks, this is Woody from Obadiahs and this is a gas fireplace that had a soot issue on the glass and what we've done is we've gone in, tried to figure out what the problem is, we've identified the problem to, this was a mobile showroom model, it was in a 40 foot um, fifth wheel and it kind of bounced down the road. So somewhere along the line, we glued the logs in place using an acrylic product called Lexan. And it's not a good idea. It's not compatible. So if you've done anything with your exhaust stack and you did not use a product called Mill um, Peck, which is a high temperature sealant that can take 2,000 degrees, you could very well experience the very same thing and this would be your problem. If you use OTV silicone to seal your exhaust and intake, this is what you're going to see when the thing gets hot. It's going to build up hydrocarbons. Um, so what it is is the gases of the stuff as it heats up comes into the firebox, mixes with the propane LPG and you have a chemical reaction and incomplete burn and makes soot and all kinds of nasty stuff. So anyhow I scraped that all off. You can kind of see and got it off, cleaned it off the logs. Now we're cleaning everything up, getting the soot off. I showed you what happens if you wipe it. It's going to smear. So what you want is a HEMPA filter type system. This is uh, what professionals use for cleaning this kind of stuff. And it's actually a high velocity vacuum cleaner. And it has a very, very, very fine micron HEMPA filter inside with a pre-filter and another filter. and So it's designed to suck up soot and dirt and dust and stuff used in the field that we experience without blowing it all over your house. Now if you're going to use a shop vac, you're going to have a major problem. Your wife will shoot you. You'll have soot everywhere in your house. It'll go right through the vacuum like it's not even there. If you use a house vacuum, it'll go right through it. If you use a house vacuum with a hemp filter, have another filter ready because you will plug it up. As soon as uh, you're done, it's done. So, And then you'll also have black stuff inside your vacuum. Not a good idea. So call a chimney sweep, he'll have one of these vacuums or an HVAC guy usually will um, that can deal with the soot. When you wipe it, it turns into these flakes. Uh, that's what happens when I wipe it. So you won't get a very clean job. Use the vacuum and get it off. One of the other things I wanted to show you is the top of the fireplace. You see them baffles? I kind of picked some of the stuff off. You see it. There's a bunch of holes. And that's a gas fireplace. This is direct vent. It's a closed loop. Got a glass on the door on the front. If you have delayed ignition and then it goes boom, there's a trap door up in the top that's spring loaded that will lift up. And the gases will release instead of the door the glass door blowing off into the house. So this is one of the reasons you do not want to convert a fireplace that was a wood burning fireplace, make it airtight and put gas logs in it because it doesn't have that feature. Now this is a direct vent fireplace. It vents from literally the back. So there's an exhaust system that goes out through the back of this stove. So and then through the wall. There's no chimney going up. It's a very simple installation. It's, um, they work very well. It makes it easy to put a fireplace in. So essentially what's going on is this cool air comes in from down there. I can feel it. The hot air goes out through the top. Circular right lights around the bottom mixes and they both go out the same pipe. It's called a coaxial pipe. <clears throat> the inner diameter usually is four inch or three inch. The outer diameter is usually 7 and 5 eighths or 8 inches, depending on how big the firebox is. So the outside is the airflow coming into the firebox. The inside is the heated 
gas is escaping back outside into the atmosphere. There's absolutely no air exchange in the house. So these are safe to install in a bedroom. So by code. <clears throat> and that's the reason why. So anyhow, show you a little bit about the inside the guts. That's your pilot assembly. That big guy's a thermal pile. If it was dark and black, it would need to be clean. You can see the hood, it's got soot all over it. That'll get clean. That there is a thermal couple. That there is the ignition. You push a button and it shoots an electrical current across to that hood where gas is escaping. As the gas escapes, it heats that probe there <coughs> and the thermal pile. Thermal pile is big. Thermal couple is small. Thermal couple is one single thermal couple. Thermal pile is a bunch of those suckers wrapped together, making more power driving your valve. Your valve works on milliamps electricity as long as the pilot is running, it's making power. <clears throat> and that keeps the gas valve open. Any issues, the gas valve will shut off, you'll hear a click. So Anyhow, that's how that works. So if your gas pilot won't stay on, then it's one of these guys. So probably the thermal pile could be the thermal couple. Um, there's ways to know, and I've already covered all that. So this is Woody from Obadiah. I'm going to finish cleaning it up, put it back together, see if this solves the issue.